This is going to be the next episode of God's Game of Thrones, and we're going to look at the Lord Jesus Christ. We just looked at the 400 silent years, and now we're going to look at the Lord Jesus Christ offering both kingdoms to the Jews when he comes at the first coming. God knows that man can't live righteous enough to get to heaven. God knows that the law can't save anybody. So the Lord Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, comes down to die for the sins of man. He was born of a virgin named Mary. In Matthew 1, 20 through 21, it says, But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So Jesus Christ is virgin born. And it says in 1 Timothy 3.16, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Jesus Christ is God manifested in the flesh. He went through everything that we go through. All the pain, suffering, sorrow, temptations. And on top of that, he never sinned one time during his life. Hebrews 4.15 says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. In 1 Peter 2, 21 through 24, it says, For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, living us an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own self bare our sins in his body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Second Corinthians 5.21 For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So that's the Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus was here on this earth, both kingdoms were present. When Jesus is on earth, both kingdoms, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven, are both present. When he came the first time, he offered both the spiritual kingdom of God to the Jews and the physical kingdom of heaven to the Jews, but they reject him. And you can see he is preaching both kingdoms. In Matthew 4, 17, it says, From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then in Mark 1, 15, it says, In saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So Jesus, preaching both kingdoms, the kingdom of heaven is only mentioned in Matthew. And the first episode of God's Game of Thrones, you saw the difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of God is a spiritual kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is a physical kingdom. In Luke 4, 5 through 8, the devil offers Jesus Christ all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. But Jesus Christ rejects it because he knows that he's going to get the kingdom anyway. Let's read about that in Luke 4, 5 through 8. It says, And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. So the devil knew the Old Testament backwards and forwards. He knew about the, the theme of, of the book. It's about, it's about kings and kingdoms. He knew that the kingdom isn't only a spiritual kingdom, but an actual earthly kingdom, which Jesus wanted. And if Jesus didn't want an earthly kingdom, then he couldn't be tempted with it. Jesus knew that he was going to get the kingdom, but the devil was trying to get him to take it at the wrong time. See, you can have a good thing and want a good thing, but want it at the wrong time. Jesus Christ is the first king to defeat the devil in every aspect of his life. He overcame the temptation. He overcame everything the devil threw at him.
The devil is allowed by God to give out the kingdoms to who he pleases at this time. And the devil gives out kingdoms in exchange for worship. And that's why he says to Jesus, fall down and worship me. And you can have these kingdoms that I'm showing you. The devil is called the God of this world in 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Jesus Christ himself calls him the prince of this world in John 14.30. Jesus even says Satan has a kingdom in Luke 11.18. Ephesians 6.12 shows us that the devil and his minions are rulers of the darkness of this world. Jesus Christ knows he must die on the cross and pay for the sins of mankind before he sets up his kingdom on earth. And the devil was trying to get him to do a good thing at the wrong time. It would be a good thing for Jesus Christ to rule as king. However, it wasn't the right time. It, it, it wouldn't have been right for Jesus Christ to worship the devil to get it. However, the Jews reject Jesus Christ when he was here. If they hadn't, the church age never would have happened. Jesus would have still had to die for the sins of the whole world, but the church age would be skipped. You would still have the Antichrist. You'd still have the tribulation. And after that, Jesus would have brought the kingdom in then. But they rejected their king, and the church age happened for this reason. And the Jews had their chance to accept Jesus back then. John nineteen fifteen says, But they cried out, Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. So the Jews rejected him. They said, we, we don't want Jesus as our king. He's not the king. We have no king but Caesar. And the, for, the former king of both kingdoms, Lucifer, the devil, he's just laughing because he knows that he's got them deceived. The Jews and even the disciples weren't looking for Jesus to die and shed his blood. They were looking for him to bring in a physical kingdom on earth. Acts 1, 6 through 7 proves this. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time re restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. See, all that all, they, they were just looking for a kingdom. When the Jews rejected Jesus Christ, the kingdom of heaven was lost, but the kingdom of God moves on through the church age, and right now there is no kingdom of heaven on earth. But we get into the kingdom of God when we're born again. Adam lost the kingdom of God when he sinned, and sin came into the world, and it wasn't made possible to get in the kingdom of God again until Jesus Christ died, shed his blood, and resurrected and that's the Lord Jesus Christ and how he offered both kingdoms to the Jews and the Jews rejected him.